So here's a mock-up of an image of a woman using a gas pump. This image and mock-up has been generated using Adobe Firefly. Everything about this is generated with AI. One of my favorite things I've been using Adobe Firefly and the generative fill for is to get mock-ups, high quality studio mock-ups at the click of a button. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and mock up a blank shirt template so that I can drop a PNG into it. So we're gonna hop in Adobe Firefly right here to their text to image feature. And I'm gonna ask it to generate a close-up of a man wearing a blank white t-shirt. Okay, so a close-up of a man wearing a blank white t-shirt facing backward on a soft gray studio background. So now Firefly has just generated a man wearing a blank white t-shirt that I can now download and drop my PNG into. So we're gonna go ahead choose this guy, we are going to download it. So every image is gonna have this and the way you can quickly get rid of this, you're gonna use your marquee tool to select and just simply hit generate. Now you're gonna watch this completely wipe this out within a couple seconds. And there you go. We're able to remove the watermark just like that. Now, if you get give this image a really close look, you'll see things like the hands here look a little weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my PNG of my artwork that I've already downloaded. I'm gonna drop it into here. And within less than a couple minutes, I have a high quality mock-up of a white t-shirt that I could generate and then send to the client to then hopefully sell this design. So within seconds, Adobe Firefly has generated a mock-up of the white t-shirt that I can then apply my artwork to. And I'm telling you right now, this is a game changer. No longer do I have to try to find grainy, nasty images. Adobe Firefly is generating high quality print mockups that are studio quality. It's, it's absolutely unreal. Now to show you a couple more that have been generated, I asked it to generate a woman eating a soft serve ice cream cone chocolate on a soft blue background because the client's uh, logo colors are blue and yellow. So what I did is I had to generate this. Now this is absolutely insane. Now it's not 100% exact, but when you're, when you're doing concept work, a lot of the times you can get caught looking for the perfect image. This way you can generate images on the fly. You can see right here, it's an Adobe Firefly image. You can go ahead and select generative fill and generate that to fill and take away this Adobe Firefly um, watermark. And boom, just like that, we have removed that watermark for the Adobe Firefly image and we are ready to go ahead and place our graphics onto. And now you have a high quality mock-up image that's ready to go. You can put text, your design, whatever you're looking for. Here, we have an image that has been completely generated using Adobe Firefly. The prompt went something like an astronaut standing in a blank room, uh, a blank white room so that I had a blank canvas to go with and the astronaut could be the focal subject. One of the really cool things about the generative fill is it puts it on a non-destructive layer that you can then remove. Now, I'm removing everything that I've added to show you what the base image looks like, and there we go. I wanted this planet to be Earth, so I made a selection around this planet using the circle marquee tool. I asked it to make it planet Earth, and it went ahead and generated something that looks a lot like Earth. It's very impressive what this can do plants on the walls. I even added a daily calendar with a trash can full of beer, a portal. I even put in a, <laughs> looks like an old school Mustang or something up here with a diagram of looks like space parts or something, a poster on the walls, obviously his workshop. So here's a mock-up of an image of a woman using a gas pump. This image and mock-up has been generated using Adobe Firefly. Everything about this is generated with AI. One thing you also need to know about Adobe Firefly is if you've never dealt with your scratch disk being filled, this is gonna happen quite a bit while using Adobe Generative Fill. You're gonna go ahead and go into Edit, Purge, All. And what this is gonna do is this is going to clear up your scratch disk so that you can keep using Photoshop beta. All right, hopefully that helps. All right, so within the same mock-up image, I needed this touch screen to be a bit bigger. So all I had to do is make a selection of where I wanted that touch screen to be. With using my pen tool, I'm gonna to make a selection. And then to make that selection an actual clipping path, I'm gonna go ahead and hit command click on my working path. And that's gonna give me those marching ants. I can go ahead and hit generative fill and ask it to extend the blue screen or whenever that generates, boom. Within a couple clicks, I have extended this blue screen and made it available for me to then make another selection and put in the artwork that I've designed for this gas pump. Now, what you can see here is how these hands look a little weird, right? 
you're going to have to just get over it because the overall impact of the image is going to be there. If you're doing conceptual work, this is going to help you sell whatever designs that you have in the click of a button. Here's another image that I've used for a mock-up that I needed with a woman holding a vanilla soft serve ice cream cone. So here we have the ice cream cone melting on her hand and you can see there's something wrong here. What's wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six fingers. What? All right. So what would be a good finger to remove? I can go ahead. I'm going to hit my quick lasso tool. I am going to go ahead and remove this finger by simply hitting generative fill and just hit generate because it should fill it with that background yellow, that soft studio background. All right. So cool. Look at that. It didn't do it perfectly because we still have a little bit of something right here. Now you can do something like the clone stamp brush or any of the traditional tools, but this generative fill is just way too much fun and it's, it's just too easy. All right, so there you have it. Just like that, we have our own mock-up using Adobe Firefly. So if you want to see more videos like this and you're finding value, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. I'm going to be using AI tech and sharing current projects and how I'm using things like Adobe Firefly and the generative fill and mid journey to solve custom creative solutions for local businesses here in my area of Jacksonville, Florida. All right, we're going to go ahead and shut it down, shut it down.